Good afternoon. That's an happy woman's history month. Thank you for joining us today. Broadcasting live from Academy Park World News Headquarters. I'm Lex. Today is Thursday, March 12th, and it's a day two. And now let's go over to Sarah with today's weather. Thank you, Lex. Today there will be a weather high of 59 degrees, low 50 degrees, expected to be cloudy. And now, what's the things to happen? AP destinations to know about. Important announcement. All Southeast Delco school districts will be closed for all students on Monday, March 16th, 2020. There will be a day of instructional planning for the administration, teachers, and staff to focus on the solidifying preparation for possibility of the school closure due to the recent development of COVID-19 of coronavirus in Pennsylvania. This is an announcement for, from Ms. Rakowski. If you are a student competed in the National Junior Duck Stamp Competition, the deadline is tomorrow, Friday. Please make sure you that you check in with Ms. Rakowski at room 210 if you have not done so recently. Just a reminder that the first and second place will win a cash prize and there will be a plethora of awards simply for competing. So water your nine by 12 inch waterfall drawings or painting over to Ms. Rakowski in room 210 ASAP. Safe to say, this is a friendly reminder that the Safe to Say reporting system is always available for you to use. If something makes you uncomfortable, submit a tip. Do you think someone is going to harm themselves? Did you see something scary that concerns you online? Safe to say something is the easiest way to let someone know that there is a problem and let them handle it. The best part is they will never know who it was that submitted it. It's that simple. You can report by calling the app or the Safe to Say website. College visits. A representative from Alberta University will be hosting an incident decision day in the auditorium on Wednesday, March 18th. Interested seniors must sign up in the guidance office by Tuesday, March 17th. Universal Technical Institute. Any 11th or 12th grade student who is interested in the Universal Technical Institute, please see Ms. Kaiser in the guidance office as soon as possible. And now let's take a break to go over to Yanni and Sinara with our feature on Women's History Month as well as Women's History Month trivia question. Thank you, Isaiah. Yesterday's Women's History Month trivia question was, who was the first American woman poet whose poetry was published in London in 1650? The answer is Anne Bradstreet. Anne Bradstreet was the most prominent of early English poets of North America and the first writer of England's North American colonies to be published. She is the first Puritan figure in American literature and notable for her large corpus of poetry as well as personal writings published posthumously. Today's Women's History trivia question is, this woman spent six years as the vice president at Google, where she developed its lucrative online advertising programs and is currently the chief operating officer at Facebook. Again, this woman spent six years as the vice president at Google, where she developed its lucrative online advertising programs and is currently the chief operating officer at Facebook. Teachers, please email all answers to Ms. Lincoln by 1220. And now back to Lex and Isaiah. Thank you, Tayani and Sonara. Senior Scholarship Opportunity. The Ann Klinger Burns Scholarship is accepting applications. Interested seniors can find out how to apply in the guidance office. Seniors, senior dues are $125 and must be paid before you purchase your prom tickets. You can pay the total amount or once in installment. Students, don't forget, whenever you're at lunch, please remember to take a fruit or a vegetable. They're delicious and very good for you. And now here are Jamar and Thomas with your horoscopes for today, Thursday, March 12th. Thank you, Isaiah. If you are Aries, try to be patient with friends and family who may not always respond to you the way you would like them to. Taurus, don't let a friend or someone close to you force you into making a decision that you aren't ready to make. Gemini, keep pursuing your goals, and you will earn praise. You may find yourself challenging plans, changing plans for someone who needs a favor. Cancer, do what you can, but don't jeopardize your sanity trying to please everyone. Try not to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Leo, people who try to persuade you to do things their way will annoy you. Effective communication will be the source of surprising knowledge. Virgo, be sure to think twice before you say something that might hurt a friend's feelings. You may be admired by students and teachers for your diplomatic nature. Libra, you can make a headway in class if you eliminate common distractions and pay close attention. Spend time with older family members who can teach you life lessons. Scorpio, opportunities to spoil yourself may emerge today. Don't let others make you feel guilty or insecure. Sagittarius, plan your day carefully. Talk about your intentions with a friend to avoid confusion. 
Capricorn and others may want to steal your thunder when they realize your ideas are pretty solid. You can learn valuable information if you listen to and observe what others are doing and saying. Aquarius, you can offer your help to others, but back off if they appear to be offended by your persistence. You need to have your you need to be inspired to have your spirits lifted. Pisces, be firm when dealing with matters pertaining to your creative thinking and continue to be innovative. And now let's go over to Skylar and Malik with today's words. Thank you, Jamar. Today, Boys and Girls Varsity tr Track competes against Tesla Charter School here at Knight Park at 345. Tomorrow, Boys Varsity Tennis competes against Bonner Prenny here on the Knight Park Tennis Courts. Match starts at 345. From over here at Night Night News, I'm Malik. I'm Skylar. I'm Thomas. I'm Mark. And I'm Zay. And I'm Lex. Have a great day, nice. Keep those electronics out of sight, those student IDs visible, those hoods off, and those AirPods and earbuds in your locker. And remember, in honor of Women History Month, Audrey Lord once said, I am not free while any woman is unfree, even when she, her shackles are very different from my own. Remember, we're here at the War News headquarters. Remember, nice to be here, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. And happy Women's History Month, guys.